What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Moving on to the next question. What slope of the line y equals mx minus 3 would make a tangent to y equals 4x squared minus 3x plus 1? Now, this question's a little bit unique. We haven't done one like this yet. If you remember a couple videos back, when a line is tangent to a quadratic, right? So we have a line here and they're saying they want the line to be tangent to this quadratic, that means that there is one point of intersection. I mentioned that in a few videos back. So if you have quadratic like this, a tangent line would look something like that. It's just hitting that quadratic at one point, or it could look maybe something like that, or the quadratic could be facing down. But Whenever you see tangent, when a line is tangent to a quadratic, it means there's one point of intersection. So how do we do this question? How do we figure out a slope m that would make this line and this quadratic only have one point of intersection, make this line tangent to that quadratic? Well, let's follow the same process we've been following. Let's make these y values equal. So we have 4x squared minus 3x plus 1 equals the line, which is mx minus 3, like that. So from here, let's bring everything over to one side. So I'm going to take everything from the right side, bring it over to the left. So we'll have 4x squared minus 3x. This mx comes over, so that becomes minus mx. And then this negative 3 comes over, so we'll have 1 plus 3, which gives us 4. And that's going to equal 0. And then from here, notice that we have a negative 3x, negative mx, so we can actually factor out an x out of both of these. And we would have something like... Um, let me put the x in front. We'd have negative 3 minus m plus 4. If you remember, we're just trying to get this into a quadratic type of form. And then this x here, instead of putting it in front, I'm going to put it right here. So I'm going to rewrite this. Negative 3 minus m x. So from here, notice this is a quadratic equation. The a value is 4. The b value is this entire bracket, this entire expression, negative 3 minus m. And the c value is 4 as well. Right? Does that make sense? So if there's only one point of intersection, then that means that this quadratic is only going to have one solution. And if a quadratic equation has one solution, what does that mean? That means the discriminant, which is equal to b squared minus 4ac, has to equal 0. Right? If a quadratic equation has one solution, it means the discriminant, the value of the discriminant for that quadratic is equal to 0. If it's greater than 0, there's two solutions. If it's less than 0, there's no solutions. But we want one solution. We want one point of intersection. So we know the discriminant has to equal 0. Well, what we can do is we could take the a value, the b value, the c value, plug it in for the discriminant, make it equal to 0, and then we could solve for m. We're just going to have one variable left. So b squared it would be this entire expression, so negative 3 minus m squared minus 4 times the a value, which is 4, times the c value which is 4. And we know that has to equal 0. So from here, we could FOIL this out. Negative 3 minus m times negative 3 minus m, that would give us what? So let's actually do this down here. Um, negative 3 times negative 3 gives us positive 9. Negative 3 times negative m, that gives us positive 3m negative m times negative 3, that gives us positive 3m as well. And then negative m times negative m gives us positive m squared. 
right? So this here would be this expression. So it'd be nine plus three m plus three m plus m squared. And then negative four times four times four, that gives us negative 64. And that's gonna equal zero. Erase this here. So from here, let's just collect like terms. So the m squared, let's put that in front. 3m plus 3m, that gives us 6m. And then 9 minus 64, that gives us, uh, what, negative 55? That's going to equal 0. And now we just have a quadratic to solve. So you could throw this into the quadratic formula. This actually factors smoothly. So this is going to factor into m minus 11, or no, m plus 11, rather, and then m minus 5. And that's going to equal 0, right? 11 times negative 5 is negative 55. 11 minus 5 gives us 6. So from here, we could tell m is negative 11, or m can be 5. So there's actually two solutions to this question. So if the slope of this line is either negative 11 or 5, then this line and this quadratic are only going to have one point of intersection. The line's going to be tangent to that quadratic. And you can actually try it out if you want. You could actually plug in negative 11 here, find the number of points of intersection between uh, this line and that quadratic. You'll get one solution. Or you could plug in 5 for m, do the same thing, find the points of intersection. You'll only get one solution. Right? So the trickiest part was probably here knowing that we have to make them equal, bring everything to one side, and then factoring out an x from both of these expressions, putting it in front. So then we have an expression for the b. And then the a was 4, the c was 4, discriminant is 0, and then we solve for m.